Hey there guys, solar eclipse day. It is rumbling in Italy. So Campi Flegri, a caldera volcano, that is on the outskirt of Naples. So that is basically an area with about 3 million people. And what is Campi Flegri? This is a large caldera area that even stretches into the port of Pozzuoli and into the sea area. And you know, the danger is there that it not only might erupt on land, but if some water gets in there this can be explosive if water mixes with that hot lava or magma it's lava when it comes out it's magma when it's underneath so that's a high risk for a very explosive um, eruption that comes with chlorine gas and everything but this caldera this super volcano has the potential to really disrupt basically Europe for sure but also the whole world if it has a major eruption like super volcano style it can even or has created in the very very past a mini ice age by all the particles that it could spew into the atmosphere causing food shortages experts are saying in Europe you know if that really was an eruption like this food would last for 74 days I have a video about that check out my playlists about the Campi Flegri and it's been running rumbling and it's been rumbling and also Vesuvius they're kind of next to each other same area and the danger in this area is that there's millions of people that it's unlikely that it will be possible to evacuate these people in time the people that live in Pozzuoli um, news report that they're taking anti-anxiety medications that this is on the rise and that they're more scared about an evacuation um, than they're scared of the actual eruption or the earthquakes because they know what an evacuation would mean a lot of narrow tiny roads and then basically only one major highway that will lead them out there and we know how it is in the past when big cities need to evacuate the roads are clogged we've just recently seen it in kiev in ukraine when people wanted to get out the highways cars were standing it's it's not good and the italian government and their emergency service they have been working on emergency evacuation plans but if the infrastructure is not in place to get people out like this very very quickly then what do you do we've seen this in Iceland there's a volcanic eruption going on right now check out my Iceland playlist there's that fishing town of Grindavik with only a few thousand people not even 4,000 people I believe and they had to be emergency evacuated quite a few times because a volcanic system is rumbling there and they have been hit by earthquakes and stuff so that did go smoothly because for for this little fishing town they have three roads going out there but Naples this is different and the problem is with this caldera volcano people are basically living on the edges of that volcano it's very fertile and their agriculture is big in that area so what can we say and if you know what happened to Pompeii I mean also not good right we know where Pompeii is so let's listen to what has happened on April 7th in Italy at Campi Flegri there was another swarm of earthquakes that has hit this southern Italy volcanic caldera and the strongest earthquake was magnitude 3.2 that is for a volcanic activity significant it's nothing you know if 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 you have a normal earthquake like in California for example 3.2 I'm sure if you're from California they're like laughing like oh yeah well who cares right um it's not not significant but for a volcano it has a reason so something's rumbling something's coming up is magma coming to the surface is it just gases what is going on but it has been rumbling for quite a while then it has been quiet a little bit but you know important to know is that even if it seems to be quiet there is no earthquake swarms nothing visible for us like eruptions or anything that volcano is still working it's still present it's still doing something and then it's rumbling again so something's moving there that's what scientists think and uh, the south of Italy that is where it's most active right now we have Vesuvius there so 
Since April 4th, more than a hundred earthquakes have been recorded under the Campi Fligri Caldera volcano. And it's basically, if you look on the map, southwest of Naples. And those earthquakes together form an earthquake swarm. So 100 earthquakes, that is not nothing. And the strongest, as I just said, had 3.2 magnitude. And it was only like the center of that earthquake was only 2.3 kilometers deep. Um, so this means that this is the boundary area at that depth where that earthquake has happened. This is the boundary area of the hydrothermal system and the cover layer that is there. And this could have been formed by a fracture, for example. So this earthquake was underneath the little fishing town area of Pozzuoli, which is the greater Naples area. Um, and within a few minutes apart, not much time, guys, um, there were two more earthquakes after that with magnitudes in the magnitude two range. So you, you could call it aftershocks that were getting quite close to the main one. Um, and some of the stronger tremors could be clearly felt in this region and have once again caused concern because this has been going on for quite a while for a few years it's been rumbling but recently scientists are worried that you know even Vesuvius could erupt and that this system could erupt could they erupt together are they preparing something it is hard really to to make a valid prediction the science is not very far progressed so it's a guessing game if you have a volcano that's erupting on a regular base then you know what is it doing before it erupts it's doing this and this happens and that happens but with Campi Fligre, that is really different. So the swarm is continuing and in the last 24 hours um, since midday yesterday there was another magnitude 2.5 and uh, so also it is concerning that the stronger tremors occurred under the sea in the Gulf of Pozzuoli and predominantly had hypocenters that were deeper than about two kilometers. So it seems that there is a rupture process going on there. And as I just said, if that mingles with water, that is not good. That is concerning in my opinion. This, this is, yeah, not good at all, guys. So, um, of course, then with the storm, there were coming the usual earthquakes in the in the um, magnitudes that are in the micro seismic range. So very, very small. It's always we have some bigger ones and they're they're accompanied by a swarm of very small micro seismic events and uh, they have occurred in the caldera area, the solfatara area, and they the scientists think that they can be viewed as manifestations of that hydrothermal system. So it's mainly fluid movements that are moving in the loose deposits of the hydrothermal system um, that has triggered these tremors. So not necessarily like magma. So there appears also, it appears that there has been a strong off-gassing. So gas movements can also cause this. Um, there are reports that residents have noticed a strong smell. You can smell it like sulfur gas, volcanic gases. That's the problem that they have on the Reykjanes Peninsula right now with this eruption that has been going since March 16th. Um, the volcanic, the sulfur gases that no matter you know where the wind blows them, they're present. So they have been blown into the fishing town of Grindavik. They have been blown into the area where that Blue Lagoon, the tourist attraction is located. So this is something that can cause severe problems and respiratory issues. One worker in the Blue Lagoon has been hospitalized just, I think a week and a half or two weeks ago from gas exposure and he had severe um, respiratory issues. So this is something that really needs to be 
um, noticed and the residents did notice a strong smell of sulfur and also a researcher has examined the gas leaks in this caldera area and um, in this area we usually see strong steam that comes out there anyways that can be like yellow like sulfur steam or white steam as you can see here um, behind me so um but right now what they're seeing is an unusual amount, a very strong amount of steam coming out from this area. And uh, so some people say um, it's increasingly becoming clear that there is a connection between volcanic activity and Brady seismic activity and that the experts are saying they wouldn't be surprised if we could even see stronger evidence of that or the Earth's forces in the coming month, maybe in the coming years. So to give a time frame that is close to impossible. What is a Brady seism? You probably ask, right? And a Brady seism is just a name for a, a slow, large scale ground deformation that is often accompanied by numerous weaker earthquakes, micro seismic activities. And then over the course of several years, the ground rises or it subsides. And, and there, there's fluctuation of several meters are possible there. And we've seen this in Iceland, underneath the Swartzengi power plant and the Blue Lagoon. There is a magma chamber that is filling up, that is fed by a deeper magma reservoir. And as this magma chamber is filling up, it is stretching. And that because it is stretching, it's lifting up the ground of that Swartzengi area. And then when it has reached the point of maximum elasticity, it sends out the magma and it ends up usually with an eruption or an intrusion. And then once the magma is flowing out, it's subsiding again. And then if there's still enough magma in the deeper magma reservoir, it's filling up again until it reaches the point of elasticity and then sends an eruption. So Brady seism means there is something going on in Italy as well. And the thing is that these ups and downs of this ground movements, they are caused by these magma fluids, magmatic fluids that penetrate the shallow layers of the soil. So the term is derived from an ancient Greek word brados, meaning slow, and seism meaning movement, so slow movement. That's why it's called Brady seism. Um, that term was set in the past by Arturo Issel in 1883, and it was first applied to the Campi Flegri Caldera volcano in Italy. So basically, it's the same, it's not the same kind of volcanic activity that we have in Iceland, but if you're not new here and if you've been watching my channel for a while, this means something to you if I say land is rising, land is subsiding, right? It's the magma that is responsible for this. The problem is the caldera volcanic system. Scientists know the least about these systems. They know more about like the fissure eruptions that we see in Iceland. And there, they are sometimes clueless and can't really make accurate predictions. Um, or a stratovolcano or, or, you know, these caldera volcanoes, especially the Campi Flegrei, the scientists are scratching their heads about this one for sure. So one thing that they have found out in a survey is that the crust of that caldera, because of moving around, that Brady seism has weakened. It's of course, if, if you stretch and it subsides and stretch, the crust gets brittle, it gets weaker. So that's a fact they have found out about this. So that it's, it's less strong than it was, for example, still in the 80s. And one thing that is also for sure is that overall, the seismicity of this caldera volcano has become significantly stronger, guys, than it was the case for most of the previous month. So definitely we're seeing an increase here. And we just hope, or I just hope, I hope you hope that too, that nothing will happen. But guys, really, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 100% sure something will happen eventually. The question is just when and how how intense
So the ground elevation, the, the, the amount that the land is rising per month was for March at around 10 millimeters, so one centimeter. Um, that's a, a little bit less, than, well, it is less than an inch. An inch is around three centimeters, I believe. So um, the question is, has that accelerated again now this month? That is what the scientists need to find now out now. They have to do GPS measurements. They have to take satellite images and they have to compare them with each other so that they can define if there is a sig more significant rise um, in April. So yeah, guys, it is rumbling everywhere. We had just magnitude 4.8 um, in New York, in the New York area, where many people would not expect that something's rumbling there. If you want to know more about this, check out my videos. Um, check out my channel. There's lots of stuff like this. And of course, if you're new here, I would uh, I would be so happy if you could subscribe and like this video. And if you're one of my regular viewers, well, thanks for being here again and thanks for watching it till the end. And if you could leave the video a like and uh, I'll keep you updated again about what's going on in Iceland for sure. So there'll be another video tomorrow again. And I'll thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay safe wherever you are. And you know, this is the thing. Wherever you go, um, be aware of the dangers around you and have an escape route in your head. I mean, it's difficult if you're in Potsuli. Uh, and now my doggies are saying that I just stop talking, Silky. Just stop. We want our dinner. <laughs> so I'll do that, guys. Yeah, Eddie. That's Eddie. You hear that. And whatever. Bye, guys. I'm out.